Ladies and gentlemen, on this example, it says find the scale that makes the vector v have a magnitude of equal to 1. So let's just go ahead and do this one example at a time. Now, the thing I told you guys to do, which was not to copy down the notes, but the thing I told you guys to do was to graph the vector and then as well as find the magnitude. So therefore, because what, what if this does have a magnitude of 1? Then we're kind of done, right? But again, I'm asking for a scalar. And if you guys remember, a scalar is just a number you can multiply by your vector. Right? So we want to see, is there a number we need to multiply? Because a scalar, guys, could either stretch your vector or it could compress your vector, just like it did with graphs. Right? We looked at that. Remember we looked at the graphing? We looked at how that scalar like, stretches the graph. We usually looked at the stretch, not the compression. Um, but so let's go ahead and figure out the magnitude. So the magnitude of v, if you guys remember from your notes from last class period, is basically just the first component squared plus the second component squared. And therefore, we get 2 squared is 4. Um, and then 4 times 3 is 12. So that equals the square root of 16. So therefore, I get a magnitude of 4. So does my vector v have a magnitude of 1? No. No, no it has a magnitude of 4. Crap. So therefore, I got to think about, well, then what number should I multiply by my vector so it has a magnitude of 1? One fourth. fourth. So therefore, k equals 1 fourth. Now, let's have a little fun. Let's see what happens when we multiply this. So that is the answer. That answers the question. But let's figure out what would happen then if that was 1 fourth. So this would be 2 times 2 radical 3. Distribute that, right? So you get 2 over 4, comma, 2 radical 3 over 4. I can simplify that a little bit. 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. Are we familiar with those coordinates? Yes. Yeah. Those are points that lie in a unit circle. Right? So basically, this vector, 1 half kind of square root of 3 over 2, is the vector that we know has to have a magnitude of, the, of 1, because obviously those endpoints, the endpoints here, are lying in the unit circle. Right? Yes. Very cool. Very interesting. Now, not always is something going to be that simple.